Hello everyone and welcome to the penultimate round of the World Rapid Championship. It's Magnus Carlsen against Linear Dominguez and uh, a lot of you said in the, well not a lot of you, some of you said in the previous video that we've covered uh, by Dominguez that I called uh, the next great Cuban that he, uh, as of 2018, has been playing for the United States. Well, while that is true, uh, you know, he is from Cuba and he is the, the strongest player from Cuba since Jose Ruel Capablanca, so I, I, I do think the... Uh, the title was justified. Uh, so here Magnus Carlsen uh, faces uh, the next great Cuban and uh, uh, Magnus goes into this round with a point and a half lead ahead of everyone else. So basically uh, he can <clears throat> he can probably uh, draw this game and lose the next one and still win the uh, the title but it's you know not, not something he will definitely bet on so it would be best to, uh, to just uh, you know win the game and then you can pretty much do everything anything in the next game. Uh, but that's uh, a lot of calculating before the game even started, so let's just check it out. Magnus has the white pieces and he opens with d4. We have knight to f6 by Dominguez, c4, e6, we have knight to f3 and d5. Uh, we have knight to c3 and c5 now. Uh, the semitarash is on the board, we have e3 uh, and c captures on d4. We have e captures and bishop to b4 now. Uh, preparing the castle, Magnus captures in the center, we have captures, captures, uh, putting pressure on c3 and Magnus uh, defends. We have queen to c2 and now uh, continuing development knight to c6. Uh, Magnus uh, goes bishop to d3 uh, and Dominguez replies with bishop to a5. The bishop will be transferred to a different diagonal while also you are threatening just knight b4 uh, to to attack the queen and the bishop as a white light square bishop as an, is an incredibly strong piece. So a3, Magnus of course prevents it and now h6. Making some uh, breathing room for the king and also not making h7 a target once black castles. Uh, we have castles by Magnus, castles by Dominguez and now uh, rook to d1. All of this has been played before. Bishop d7 by Dominguez and here uh, there are two moves that were played in this position. Knight e4 is a known move and knight captures on d5 is a known move. But the move Magnus plays is a new move in the position. So bishop to h7 check. Uh, so what's the idea here? Well, uh, there's only one move for black, king to h8, and now Magnus goes back, bishop to e4. And uh, it's a sideline uh, that Magnus uh, perhaps prepared for, for some faster time controls where uh, black will have to waste time and take into consideration the different position of the king. So uh, one thing being, if you move the rook, uh, the, uh, the, the, the pawn on f7 might become weak as knight to e5 is a move white usually plays in positions like this. So uh, Dominguez has to uh, waste some time to, to uh, decide on the best move. We have knight c to e7, uh, and here we have bishop to d2. Continuing development, preparing to bring the rook over to c1. We have rook to c8 by Dominguez, and here uh, Dominguez uh, had some uh, 10, and 10 minutes on the clock, uh, 10 plus minutes, whereas Magnus had 14. Uh, with knight to, uh, and here he spent some two minutes on this move, probably considering either that or bishop to c7, maybe to control e5 a little bit better. But okay, Magnus goes knight to e5, and now you can see that already f7 uh, is becoming a bit weak. Uh, if you kick it away, then g6 is also uh, a liability. So bishop to e8. Here Dominguez prepares f6, and he wants to have uh, complete control over the g6 square. We have rook 8 to c1 by Magnus, and now he pushes f6. Now, is this one of those cases where you should most definitely not push f6? Uh, well, we'll see. Uh, if you go knight g6 check here, uh, doesn't really do anything. Just bishop captures, bishop captures, and after you trade everything here, yes, the queen is very active, but after queen d7, there's really nothing to look for here. Everything is nicely protected. Black can uh, either just uh, continue the game. He can trade on c3 if he wants to, you know, the, the, the rooks can get traded off black is perfectly fine here if not better so after f6 magnus goes back instantly knight d3 and now bishop to b6 uh, we have knight to c5 by magnus uh, offering a pawn here uh, and dominguez decides to grab it with bishop captures on c5 pawn captures and rook captures and now queen to b3 if you go bishop to e3 right away to threaten the rook, also the a7 pawn, uh, black can actually capture. Uh, yes, it opens up the attack on the queen, but also the white queen is under attack. So here we would just see everything get traded off. Captures, captures, uh, captures on c2, uh, and now rook back to c8. Captures, captures, and well, 
it's a it, it's an equal position uh, with equal material on the board uh, but again if anything it's black who, who will be better here so after this rook captures on c5 we have queen to b3 by magnus now uh, the b7 pawn is under attack also bishop to e3 is coming uh, as now it is a threat so rook to c7 is played uh, b6 also a possibility here uh, if b6 then again if bishop to e3 you can then move the rook and then everything just gets traded off on d5 and uh, you know it's it's perfectly fine uh, but Dominguez prefers to move the rook right away rook to c7 and now magnus trades in the center knight captures we have knight captures on d5 rook captures on c7 first uh, getting one of the defenders away from the d5 square uh, queen captures you cannot capture with the knight because then ideas like bishop h6 become possible so queen captures on c7 and now bishop captures on d5 we have e captures on d5 and now uh, bishop to e3 you could capture the pawn right away but uh, there's no rush you will always be able to capture it but you also threaten the a7 pawn so here uh, Dominguez says okay uh, we're not gonna give up any pawns here then Magnus would have a 2 to 1 advantage on the queen side uh, and now Magnus just picks up the pawn queen captures on d5 so indeed it was a temporary pawn sacrifice uh, bishop to c6 putting the bishop on this beautiful diagonal and queen to d6 now magnus offers a queen trade and he can no longer lose this game which is what, what he definitely wanted we have queen captures on d6 rook captures on d6 and now rook to f7 uh, controlling the seventh rank uh, we have uh, f3 by Magnus preparing to bring the king into the game and now rook to d7. Now just offering a rook trade, Magnus trades here and here we have uh, a completely equal endgame with bishops of opposite color and it was in this position that Magnus Carlsen and uh, the linear Dominguez agreed to a draw. So we'll see what happens in the final round. Who will Magnus face? It will probably be, uh, well, he, he still uh, didn't play Hikaru Nakamura, but uh, so far as I've seen, uh, uh, Vladislav Artemiev is doing extremely well against uh, Maxim Varshiel Lagrav, and we will probably have a, a Magnus Carlsen versus uh, Vladislav Artemiev in the final round, where uh, if Artemiev wins, he will probably be able to catch up to Magnus, and then we will have a, a playoff for, uh, for the first place between Magnus and Artemiev. So that's something... On, uh, that can happen so yeah uh that's the game i do hope you enjoyed it uh, uh yes it's a draw i decided to show it since it's um uh, magnus is really just dominating the field and it's uh well an important part of the story uh, to, to see what happens in the last round and i will go through all of your hashtag suggestions to see uh which games to show that that we've missed so yeah, uh, once again, I would like to thank uh, Michael Carey, uh, Pete Sponderables, uh, Victor Klein, uh, David Groskin, and Predrag Zerdo for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon with uh, one, at least one more game uh, from the finals of the World Rapid Championship. Uh, not the finals, but the final round, uh, and then we'll, we'll just take it from there. So thank you all. I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your Saturday.